So welcome to our Saturday morning discussion. This morning it's about American goldfinches, one of the most popular birds in North America that has a lot of stuff going on right now. So I thought I would address them. Uh, I, the wild canary, as many people know it, uh, the American goldfinch is a, is a unique species. Uh, for a lot of birds, uh, they live what we consider the normal life pattern of they molt their feathers once a year or a partial molt twice a year. And molting is whenever a bird uh, replaces old and worn feathers with new feathers. Uh, American goldfinches are unique in that they do two complete molts per year. And that is they replace all their feathers twice a year. A, a unique and, and a high energy draining way of living, but for the goldfinches it's worth it. If you're a bright, bright yellow bird in the dead of winter, you're going to get caught uh, and seen by predators and that's not good. So uh, while in their breeding plumage during the summer months, they are that bright, the males are that bright canary yellow. Hope you can see that there beside us. Um, the females are duller because they have to sit on the nest. But in the winter, the, the males uh, in the fall, the, the going into winter, the males molt into that more olive drab color to look more like the females. Uh, and so they're better camouflage. This confuses a lot of people. Uh, and the reason it confuses them is I think believe that because in the spring we get to see them molt into this. They're, they're at your bird feeders in the spring whenever they're changing from the, the olive drab color to the, the bright yellow canary type colors. And we get to see that happen. So we know those birds then. But right now we'll start getting phone calls from people going, where are my goldfinches? Where are my goldfinches? They're leaving me. They left, they left. Well, goldfinches have just finished nesting. They're, at this point, you've probably seen them bringing their babies into your feeders. They, the, the babies look a, a lot like the females, except they're uh, more of a green color. You know, they're, they're even darker than the male and the female. Uh, and you have seen the, the adults are feeding the babies this time of year. Uh, but they're starting to move out. They're, they're starting to leave your feeders and move out because nature's bounty is exploding right now. That is when uh, a lot of the weed seeds, as you know, the wildflower seeds that you planted in your yard are coming uh, uh, ripe now. So the goldfinches are in my yard are busier in the front yard eating on the purple coneflower seeds than they are in my backyard feeding on the feeders. And that happens uh, all over the area. So right now you, you start to lose your goldfinches and you go, oh no, where are they gone? Will I get them back? Uh, the official, the official, unofficial, uh, goldfinch season at feeders is really December through July. It's that fall season whenever we lose them and people think, oh no, they're gone, when will they be back? Well, they show right back up. They don't go very far. They just go out into farm fields and at field edges and weedy pastures, uh, even with native wildflower gardens. But they start to show back up at your feeders when the weather gets stressful. So late November, early December, depending upon when it gets cold, but when they come back into your feeders, there are no bright yellow ones anymore. They have molted into that fall and winter plumage while they're out in nature and feed, feeding all those wild seeds. So it confuses people. They see these birds and they call us and go, well, I've got these birds in my feeder, but I'm not sure what they are. And they'll send me pictures and they're just winter plumage goldfinches. So don't be confused by that. They'll be back in. And a matter of fact, we get a lot more goldfinches in winter than we do in spring and summer because the northern birds, especially if you have a harsh winter, pushes down a lot of goldfinches to our area. Nebraska birds, Minnesota birds, Dakota birds, a lot of those birds have to escape the harsh conditions up there. And so in my backyard, I usually top out around 100 goldfinches at my feeders in the winter months, whereas in the summer I usually have a dozen, 15, maybe 20 if I'm lucky. So a lot more in the winter months, and so be on the lookout for those. So how do you attract the goldfinches to your yard? You know about uh, the, the confusion with Niger slash thistle. Well, they nest very late in the summer because they've evolved to nest whenever the native thistle plants, true thistle plants, are going to seed because that's their favorite food to feed to their babies. So in the bird feeding industry, you can't harvest and, and, and sell thistle seed because it's a weed for a lot of farmers. So they, the substitute they found that looks very much like that and it has a nutritional value is a seed called Niger. And Niger is not thistle, no matter what you believe. Some people come in and say, well, I've fed that and I had thistle plants grow all over my yard. Well, it didn't come from that bag of, of black tiny seed that we sell. It's, it, it's Niger. It's not even related 
to a thistle plant. It's actually grown in countries like Ethiopia and India, and it's their oil crop, much like soybeans are crushed for oil here. Over there, Niger is crushed for cooking oil over there. Well, we sterilize each of those plants that come into our, our seeds that come into our country because we don't want foreign noxious weeds growing in, in uh, our area. So the, the, seed, the seed that you buy called Niger from, from me is uh, all been sterilized and it will, cannot germinate. Now what gets confusing is when a bird is feeding at your bird feeder and he's eating your niger seed, he's also pooping out the native seeds that he's eating out in your yard and around pasture. So you get stuff growing underneath your feeders from which he's gathered from all over the area and the, the seeds pass through the system and you get germination. So that can explain some reasons why a wild thistle may pop up in your yard is because the birds are vectoring that seed through them, um, and, which is not a bad thing, you know, you just have to mow them off or, and take care of them that way. So that it's natural that you're going to lose them. They will be gone for a little while, but when the weather gets cold, and I know you're looking forward to that, I do my snow and ice stand starting in about October because we like the cold weather around here. So they'll be back. They just won't be that bright gold color. So if you like the videos, share them. That helps us out. Like them, of course, um, and send in some ideas for next week's show. Uh, as we like to say around here, come by and let's talk birds.